never come in here with a predetermined notion of what's going to happen. People from all over the world travel thousands and thousands of miles for that little guy right there. And every once in a while, you'll find one of those huge rookies that just take your breath away. He's coming at me. He's got to be coming at me. All right, let's try this again. Whoa! The Fish in Canada Show, brought to you in part by Coleman, the outdoor company, Cooper Tires, Prince Craft Boats, dominate the waters, and Garmin, fight your fish, not your fish finder. This, my friends, is Algoma country immortalized in the paintings of the Group of Seven and the quintessential example of wilderness that is Northern Ontario. With the Canadian Shield as a backdrop, the 22,000 square miles of boreal forest is interspersed with thousands of lakes. This district is an absolute must experience for any serious angler, especially trout fishermen. One of the best places to start this adventure is at the famous Blue Fox Camp owned and operated by four fishing buddies who are totally committed to the preservation and sustainability of this amazing fishery. My name is Brad Thorne. I'm one of the owners of Blue Fox Camp. We're a group of uh, four friends who have been coming up to Blue Fox Camp for about probably between us 20 years maximum. I've been coming in for about 15 years. Uh, we've come in to work or to fish and an opportunity came up two years ago to, uh, to purchase a lodge and we, uh, we jumped on it because we love the place. Although it is possible for the most adventurous of travelers to reach this remote location by ATV, the Blue Fox Camp is primarily a fly-in destination. It's a short flight that delivers astonishing views of this one-of-a-kind fisherman's paradise. The Blue Lake system, home to Blue Fox Camp, consists of Blue Lake and seven surrounding feeder lakes. It has the distinction of being the province's only self-sustaining inland three-species trout system. Besides the Blue Lake system, we have access to approximately 50 back lakes, all of which are stocked with brook trout that grow to seven, eight pounds approximately. Working together with the MNRF and other community fishing programs, the Blue Fox Camp has designed a custom brook trout stocking program exclusive to these back lakes. By introducing 100 to 200 yearlings from the Nipigon region on a rotational four to five year cycle, you end up with lakes that may not be loaded with fish, but with every cast you make, you've got a chance to hook up with a monster brookie. Root House is exactly one of those lakes and the perfect setting for me to scratch my itch for an elusive Nipigon strain brookie. So in Root House, Angelo could expect uh, brook trout uh, anywhere from two all the way up to eight pounds. If uh, he manages to hook on to one of the 2011 uh, stream, he'd be, he'd be looking at a really big brook trout. So we hope that's what he gets. Yes. Stay on, buddy. Stay on. That's got to be a lake trout. Doesn't feel like a speck, but you, oh, whoa. <laughs> that's an insane fish, whatever it is. I hope it's a big brookie. There are some really big fish in this tiny lake. I mean, it's worth the effort coming into some of these back lakes. They're a little bit more off the beaten path. Even though we're out in the middle of nowhere, getting off the beaten path is still important. Nah, it, it's just not doing what a brookie should be doing. More like a big, big fork tail laker, I think. Hit those rocks. Yeah, baby. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That fish, that's a lake trout, and I caught him in less than four feet of water. This time of year, the ice has only been off this lake for about a week, a week to 10 days. It's been a long winter, man. Beautiful looking fish, though. And they're cold, man. They are freezing cold. The nice thing about these clear lakes, you can see them going down 30, 40 feet before he disappears, man. Oh, that was great. Fish. Oh, he's coming.
coming at me. He's got to be coming at me. Yeah. <laughs> he just came running towards the boat. Doing a lot of lake trout feeling shaking going on down there. A lot of weirdness. Ooh. Whoa. 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 Running out to deep water now. Just figured it out. <laughs> I feel like a heavy fish as well. It makes you really dirty. I love fishing with light to light leader material because it just, you're on the edge the whole time. No, 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 <laughs> Another late cart. Wow, did he fight. You know, with the ice just going out a few days ago, you'd think they'd be a little more lethargic, but they're crying. Right. Yeah, baby. They're a cool fish, aren't they? These things are just vicious, and they chow down big time. I thought we were onto something good. Obviously, I was wrong. Holy, that thing is insane! A lot of active fish right now. What does that mean? I mean, this is where all the action's supposed to be. I thought we were onto something good. Obviously, I was wrong. It's gone up seven degrees since this morning. That ain't good, by the way, in case you were wondering. Ain't good at all. change. Oh, there's another one. They're shallow. They're real shallow. It's another lake trout. <laughs> he hit me like about a 20 pound pike. <laughs> They've been under the ice for about six months and they are just ready to go. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Yeah. Wow, they are so tough, man. I would uh, imagine a 20 pounder of those, and apparently they're out here, uh, would tear you apart. Shallow, really shallow. Which tells me we may have been fishing a little too deep. You know, that's an important lesson that I should have just learned from myself. You should never come in here with a predetermined notion of what's going to happen and what's going to make fish bite. I had the idea that these fish were going to be, you know, on that primary drop, the first ridge off of shore, uh, just feeding off of the, uh, the basin of the lake, and, and they weren't. They're up tight. These things are right on shore, feeding on anything that's moving within two feet from the actual shoreline. All right, let's try this again. Did you know that brook trout is not classified as a trout at all? It actually belongs to the char family, along with its cousins the lake trout, dolly varden, bull trout, and arctic char. A unique biological fact in the world of brook trout is that they only spawn in natural spring water. They don't need it to live, but they can't reproduce without it. Through studies, Ontario's MNRF will find non-spring-fed lakes that have cool, clean water where they can stock brook trout for what's known as a put-and-take fishery. Simply stated, the biologists put them in and the anglers take them out. The brook trout's average lifespan is around five years. This is when they reach their maximum size. So if there was a stocking that took place, say, four or five years previous to your fishing trip, well, the potential for a giant brookie is fantastic. For a comprehensive list of trophy brook trout fishing spots in Ontario, be sure to visit GoFishingOntario.com. There's one. There we go. Oh, that's a pretty little brookie. He's going to splash here. That's what I got him on, by the way. 
Black Fury maps. Let's be honest about it. Everybody that's watching this program right now, at some point or other, has used a MEPS lure because it's a staple. It's something we grew up using, I would say, if not all cases, but certainly the majority of cases when we were fishing as youngsters, MEPS was the number one bait. And then for some reason, you kind of gravitated away from it, like, uh, like so many of us have done. But when you get into the more remote lakes, it almost seems like it's a throwback lure. And when you get into this environment where, where you're way out in the backwoods fishing small little lakes for brook trout, it, MEPS is just, it's so right. And it works. It still works to this day. All right, what do we got? Oh, that's, that is absolutely beautiful. Isn't that a pretty fish? That's why this is one of the most sought after game fish on the planet. People from all over the world travel thousands and thousands of miles for that little guy right there. That is gorgeous. Looks like to be, to me, that looks like a male. It's got a bit of a kite happening. There we go. Woo! There you go. And up here in the north, they'll kind of average that size, and every once in a while you'll find one of those huge brookies that just take your breath away when you catch one. That thing is insane. That is my favorite fish, without question. Whoa. That's a shocking surprise. Whoa, there's one right there. <laughs> that was cool. Whoops. Brookie. You know, once they get up over that three to four pound range, they 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 live in a pretty exclusive neighborhood for the most part. Oh man, how sweet is that? They're gorgeous, tough fish too. I think it's one of the toughest fish you can you can catch. Freshwater fish, just beautiful. Wow. Wow. Fabulous. Woohoo! I like those. <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> Holy mackerel. That thing is insane. Wow. Oh, that's a nice brookie. Now, he doesn't have as much blue in those spots as some of the smaller fish, but wow. Aren't they just the most beautiful things? Absolutely gorgeous. That is my favorite fish, without question. They are something, and they are an apex predator, make no mistake about it. As pretty as that fish is, that is the most vicious predator in these waters, without question. Nothing even close to them. Fantastic. All right, get back up there and get yourself some of them critters out of those rocks. You gotta love this stuff. You know, if you ever get a chance to get out to some of these lodges that offer more than just a, a main camp experience, uh, whether it's, you know, a fly out to a, a small remote little cabin on a lake or just being able to take day trips and, and into some of these tiny little ponds and lakes, man, I'll tell you, they are well worth it. Just the experience of catching a fish in this environment, in this setting, it'll alter you for sure. It's fantastic. Whoa, that thing is running. <laughs> I don't know. Don't know if it's a brookie or not. Wow, that's, that's a heavy fish. And he's heading out to deep water too, which is a really good sight. But it feels, it's kind of got that short little shake like a, like a lake or so. I'm not gonna get overly excited yet. Uh, hopefully he'll go nicely. There you go. That's better. Whew. <laughs> that's a heavy fish, man. Oh, that's a lot of, I just saw a lot of body there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a chance and call this thing a brookie. I saw a fat, fat fish. Can you see that? Oh, it's a big old lake trout. Wow. That is a big lake trout for this lake, man. Look at that. 
Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, baby. Look at you, Mr. Lake Trout. All right. Is he going to fit? Just barely. <laughs> That's a shocking surprise. <laughs> How cool is that? What a shock, man. Hey, half a tail gun. That's kind of cool, too. That's probably a fairly old fish for, for this body of water, I'm going to guess. Today's hotspot is on Roothouse Lake, a subtle point jutting from shore dropping into deep water. The waypoint on your screen will get you right there. The best way of fishing a structure like this is slow trolling, drifting, anchoring, or what I did throughout the day, easing your way using a trolling motor and wind combination to fan cast the shoreline. For trolling, try spoons, spinners, or hard body baits like crankbaits and minnow baits. When casting, try spinners, EGB spoons, jigs, and don't forget drop shotting a small bait like a Yamamoto shad shaped worm. For more hot spots like this one, check out fishincanada.com. There's one. Where are you, baby? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Crazy fish, whatever it is. Oh, that's a gorgeous brook trout. Oh, oh. All right, Mr. Berkey, come on home. Now, you're going to see a really colorful brook trout here, but it's pale in comparison to what it's going to be in about four and a half, five months this fall. Oh, look at that. Okay. Gotcha. I want to pick this fish up to show you, but uh, I don't know how cooperative that he's going to be. Whoa! <laughs> there he is. How's that baby? Oh, that is gorgeous. That is worth the trip into these little backwoods. Trust me. Whoa. Okay, it's got to go. Whoa. <laughs> See ya. Wow, probably my, I'm gonna say my second biggest brook trout that I've ever caught. Wow, incredible, good stuff. <sighs> with access to an astounding variety of lakes and rivers, some with a unique natural population of brookies and others stocked with potential for that huge once in a lifetime catch, the Blue Fox Camp is a build your own outdoor adventure kind of place. If you're looking for an unforgettable fishing experience, well, this is it. Exactly what the Blue Fox Boys were hoping to achieve. So part of the reason we, the four of us, bought this, uh, this place is because we've been coming up for so long and, and we love the camp and the surrounding area. And what we'd like to do is introduce people to the area, hope they have a great fishing trip, and return year after year. Today's outstanding trophy brook trout fishing took place at Blue Fox Camp in Algoma region of Ontario. To get there, I first took Highway 400 north to Highway 69. I next turned northwest on Highway 17 at Sudbury. I finally turned north on Air Service Road in Algoma Mills and ended up at Lozon Aviation Air Base. From there, it was a short 15-20 minute flight to Blue Fox Camp. Today's KLP is K for Knowledge. By learning the history of the lakes here at Blue Fox, along with the MNRF stocking programs of the past, I can choose the absolute perfect brook trout lake for either numbers, or as in my case, size of fish. History dictates that Roothouse Lake's 2011 stocking program gives me the best chance possible at contacting the brookie of a lifetime. With this new knowledge, I can head into my chosen body of water and be thinking strictly of trophy fishing. The Fish in Canada Show, brought to you in part by 
Ram trucks. Guts, glory, Ram. Stearns, trusted on the water since 1952. Mercury Outboards, number one on the water. And Outdoor Canada, Canada's only national fishing and hunting magazine. Closed captioning provided by Lithium Pros, the one battery you need.